So ladies and gentlemen, today I'm bringing you guys an ultimate high round setup guide for the latest zombie map revelation. So in this video, I'm going to be covering everything that you're going to need before you start your high round game, such as weapons, gobble gums, perks, everything in that nature, plus extras such as the shield and certain other abilities that you can get across the map. I'm going to be covering all of them in this video, so you don't want to miss out for that. So let's get in to the ultimate high round setup guide on revelations. Now getting straight into it we're gonna start off with gobble gums now you have a choice of choosing five gobble gums to take into each game now half of these gobble gums will be for the setup and the other half will be for the high round game itself so with the gobble gums you want to have perkaholic as it gives you all the perks you want to have immolation liquidation as it spawns you fire sales which makes it easier to get the best possible weapons for your game you want to have temporal gift because that makes your power-ups last longer it's really good for high rounds and the last two gobble gums are cashback which spawns you a max ammo and alchemical antithesis which allows you to get all your ammo back instead of you receiving points so select all those gobble gums and get straight into your revelations game so starting it off what you want to do in the first five rounds is complete the pack a punch rituals there's four pack a punch rituals around the map the first one is located in spawn all you got to do is spend 500 points and you just need to kill these apothecans it's pretty straightforward the next one you want to do is actually in derizen drag it's the same rinse and repeat strategy you have to do as as I said before, spend 500 points and just kill these Apothecans. The third one will be in Varuk and the fourth one will be in Mob of the Dead. Now, once you've done that, all you got to do is actually go into one of the four portals, which spawns you to Nocturne and Toten. So once you're there, what you got to go do now is actually go up to the top floor and there's going to be this little control panel and you need to wait for the big Apothecan beast to fly around. And once it says we can actually press that button, you press the button, it captures the Apothecan beast and that allows you to go into Pack-a-Punch. So what you've done now is actually turn on power and finish Pack-a-Punch. In the process of doing Pack-a-Punch, something that may be handy if you have a little bit of points left over is hitting up the Gobble Gum Machine and either getting Perkaholic and Immolation Liquidation. Now you need Immolation Liquidation to get the best guns as quick as possible. So you go to a box location, you spawn all those three fire sales and you're aiming to get the Apothecan Servant because if you get the Apothecan Servant, you're going to be getting that on the lowest round possible, which means it's easier for you to upgrade it. So once you've got the Apothecary Servant and possibly a Point Hoarder. So the upgrade is quite simple. All you're going to do is hit these little 115 bricks around the map. So starting off with spawn, all you do is look up and you'll see it right in the sky. You just shoot your Apothecary Servant at the brick and it's going to go away eventually. Next one's going to be located at Derizon Drac. You just got to keep looking around and find that 115 brick. They're pretty noticeable, so you're eventually going to find it. This will be located near the free perk bottle if you activate zero gravity. There's also one that will be at Mob of the Dead just keep looking around for this 115 brick it's gonna be on the left hand side of the ritual table then go to the Varuk ritual table and look around and you're eventually going to find the 115 brick that's the most distinctive one you can possibly see because I feel like that's just the most easiest one to hit but those are the four to five upgrade pieces that you've shot with your apothecary servant so once you've done that all you got to do now is just go to the pack a punch location and pack a punch it and there you go you've got your apothecary servant upgraded so now now that we got that out of the way, we're going to be moving on to the shield. So we're going to need to build the dragon shield for our high round game because it's very helpful. So I'm going to be going through the three parts. So the first part I'm going to touch on will be in Derizon Drac. And what you're going to need to do to actually obtain this shield part is to actually turn on zero gravity. Once that is on, all you're going to do is wall run and try and look for the zombie shield. This is probably the hardest part to find, but you're eventually going to find it on the wall. There's three locations on the wall. Just keep going around and you're eventually going to find it. The second zombie shield part will be at Varuk. Now it's either going to be where you spawn in once you've actually taken the jump pad from Mob of the Dead to Varuk. It's going to be on one of the pillars. If not there, it's either going to be on the kitchen table close to where one of the traps will be. You're eventually going to find these parts. They aren't that hard to find, but the last part will be located at Origins and you've got to open a few doors to get there. But once you're at Origins, you're either going to see it right next to a Wonder Fizz machine or if you can't see it around there, you can just keep looking around the trenches and you're eventually going to find the third zombie shield. 
So once you have all three parts, where do we go and build this shield? You go into where Juggernog is actually located right next to there. You can just go and build the shield on the table and it is the dragon shield from Garod Krovi. Now moving on to something that you may want to have or may not want to have. It's really personal preference at this point and this is what I like to call the friendly keeper. Pretty much he's a keeper that follows you around and kills zombies. So there's three parts to actually go and craft this guy. So the first part is the pink rock and that's going to be located right next to Dreisendrak where the Primus statues are. It's very visible as it is pink so you can just go and pick that up right away. The second piece will be the skull of non subway skull and you actually want to go to Varuk and start looking around either on wheelchairs, benches or shelves. In my game I got it on a wheelchair right next to one of the traps. And lastly the wheel will be located either around Origins right next to where Speed Collar would be actually on the Origins map or it's going to be located in Mob of the Dead. So you're going to need to go all the way down to Mob of the Dead in the cafeteria right next to Mule Kick. It's going to be located right there. You can go and pick that up and once you have all these three parts you can go up to one of these locations and actually craft him and he costs 5,000 points to be spawned in each time. Now we're moving on to perks. Now if you're wondering at this point why do I have a perkaholic as this gives me all the perks and with strategies on this map you really don't go down. So just use your perkaholic but if you don't have a perkaholic just use Juggernog, Quick Revive, Stamina Up and Widow's Wine. But moving on to perma perks because there are permanent perks that we can get on this map which either increases our Juggernog or increases our Stamina. Now if you want increased Stamina Up all you got to do is go to Derizendrak, throw a grenade in the wolf bow hole and then get a lot of kills when zero gravity is turned on and the kills will go into the skull right underneath the wolf bow hole. That's only going to take one round and once you've done that you want to move on to what is going to be called permanent juggernaut. All you got to do for that is spawn in the keeper and he needs to get X amount of kills and once he's got all those kills you go to the theater, you go and choose one of those hats and once you've got one of those hats on you can either get permanent juggernaut or permanent stamina. So now that you've got all that done you probably want to keep hitting up the box again. You really need the Thunder Gun for this strategy. So try and get the Thunder Gun out of the box. Use an Immolation Liquidation if you can. But if you can't, just keep hitting up the box. Try and get the Thunder Gun. Once you've eventually got it, you probably want a third weapon too. So try and get the M1927 out of the box just because it's a point hoarder machine. And then go to pack a punch and pack a punch those weapons. And then you've pretty much just completed your ultimate high round setup. So now that you've got the essentials on the map, what do you do now? Now all you've got to do is just go and find a location to train or camp. Now what I suggest is the spawn room as it is the easiest to train but if you want to camp there's going to be a location behind the spawn room which will teleport you to Origins. It's all personal preference at this point but this was just a guide that gives you pretty much the essentials that you would need for high rounds. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did guys be sure to smash a like on it. Shows you guys really supported the video. Subscribe to the channel if you are new to stay up to date with all my zombies content and comment down in the comment section below. Is there any other ways of setting up that may be easier or harder. I'm very curious. Tell me down in the comment section below. But that's going to be today's video, guys. I'm going to be seeing you in the next one. Peace out and goodbye.